Faithful and everlasting Father, we adore you for who we are. We by your holy name, for there is none like you. The beginning and the end. There is no to be compared. There is no place for argument, oh God, that you are God. Father, we bless you. Lord, we have gathered tonight, oh God, to seek cancer for you, to cry out to you, to lay our body to you. Oh God, we are touch us one more time in the name of Jesus. Let every body tonight, oh God, be released in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We give you all the adoration. We ask, let your best be prepared among us tonight. That at the end of the day, oh God, our hearts shall be filled with joy. Amen. Amen. Clear this service open in the name of the Father. Amen. Amen. Name of Amen. the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My great women of God, you are welcome again this evening. God bless you. God bless you. I uh, believe strongly mm -hmm. the Lord is how to do great things in our midst, in mm -hmm. our lives as individuals, as mothers, as wives, and mm -hmm. also as ministers in Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. Before we hear the word of God briefly and launch into prayers, which is the main reason why we are here. Uh, Pastor Dyer, you are welcome. God bless you, man. So as usual, please, man, you are going to take course in few worship. Let's take time to present worship. Please go ahead, man. Pastor Dyer, man. Unmute your mic. Your mic is mute, man. No, I'm sorry. We can hear you now. We can hear you. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name. Oh, 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 
This, I'm sorry, I'm battling with my phone here. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sorry for the inconveniences. Okay. God bless you all. Please let's open our Bible quickly to the book of Genesis, chapter 39. One will just take a few prayer points from there. Genesis 39, the story about the life of Joseph from verse 1. We all remember that he was sold, sold out by his brothers because of the vision upon his life. Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 39, you are there. You can help me out from verse 1. Praise the Lord, I read. Amen. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt, and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, and Egyptian, bought him of the hands of the Ishmaelites, which had brought him down, Peter. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man, mm -hmm. and he was in the house of his master, the mm -hmm. Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. And Joseph found grace in his sight, and he served him, and he made him overseer over his house, mm -hmm. and all that he had had, he put into his hand. Verse 5, and it came to pass from the time that he had made him overseer in his house, and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake, and the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. And he left all that he had in Joseph's hand, and he knew not all he had, save the, the bread, which he did eat. And Joseph was a godly person and well favored. And it came to pass after mm -hmm. this that his master's wife cast her eyes on Joseph, and she said, Lie with me. But he refused and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master what what yeah. not what is with me in the house. And he had committed all that he had to my hand. There is not greater in his house than I. Neither had he kept back anything from me but thee. Because thou art his wife, how can how then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? But then it came to pass, as she spake to Joseph day by day, that he hearkened not unto her to lie by her. And it came to pass about this time. That Joseph went it's into okay, the man, because of time. This man is okay. Praise okay. the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying to well tonight. But before we do that, I want to quickly to just exert us on the topic I titled The Presence of God. The presence <coughs> of God. Please, my great women of God. Where we are now being minister's wife or being, you know, uh, in charge of a ministry God has committed into your hands, we must always have in the back of our mind that the calling is of God. You have to be a pastor's wife, the calling is of God. You have to be able to be, you know, maybe a deaconess in the church, the calling is of God. No one that the book of Hebrews says, I think Hebrews chapter 7 says, no matter care this all known to himself. Except he that is called as Aaron was. So it is an honor, but it is of God. But however, to fulfill the mission to, or the calling, you need his presence. When we talk about his presence, we, need, we are talking about his backing. It is he that will give you your wisdom. When his presence is with you, he gives you wisdom, gives you direction on how to accomplish that vision. Why do many fail today in ministry? They started well with God. But along the way, they begin to divide their own midst. Or begin to copy another person's own, you know, way of doing it. No, you have to know strictly. This is what God has called me to do, or this is what my God has called my husband to do, or this is what God has called my pastor to do. Then you stick strictly to it, whether the condition is favorable or not. Something about the vision or the calling God gives to you, after a time, it will speak. So you know, just as I said, in case you are thinking, no, not be me, God, God, maybe not my husband. Did they God call your husband and that day he called you? Uh, yes, it was not by chance you married that man. Or, uh, you know, vice versa. 
maybe the, you know we don't have men here. It is not for any man to think that you know now my wife God call not be me he call no. If they call your wife, now that day he call you. Amen. And I thank for our African men. God will help us in Jesus. They don't all not all are not like that. And I salute their courage. Those are strong, solidly behind their uh, their wife in ministry. God has called their wives, but they stood by them and said they will succeed. God will bless such men in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. So back to what we are saying, or uh, rather what I'm saying is that the presence of God, the presence of God. You see that where we read concerning the life of Joseph, Joseph had vision from God from uh, Genesis chapter 37 because of that, who could not start actually from there. Well, I want to believe that we all are no, you know, know the story. So that's why I started from chapter now, which we really want to deal with, just save him. You know, he had the calling of God upon his life and the enemy's rules, and they sold him out to his brothers. And where he was, so see, wherever you find yourself, I said, God does not call you. One way or the other, it must show. That is, anybody that has the calling of God upon your life, you cannot be hidden. Even when you try to pretend to cover it up, one way or the other, he announces himself. That is just how it works. There is a way God fetches it out. So look at Joseph. Yeah, he found himself in his master's house. He was still brought to the limelight. And what? Oh, because of the presence of God that was with him. So I want to encourage us. If there's anything you will treasure in your ministry, you will fight and wash over is the presence of God. Men might come into your ministry and they can live, no matter how talented they are, no matter how gifted they are, no matter you know how famous they are or how rich they have become, if influential they have become, they come in and go. That should not box you too much, bother you too much. But what you should fight over is the presence of God. Is the presence of God. When it's with you, the impossibility become possible. You know, things that have become so difficult because if there's a way it makes, make, makes way out. You can stand it too. That does not mean. All you need is his presence. There is a way that need to pro if it promote you from one level to the other. Look at the life of Joseph. He found himself as a slave in his master's and the house of Potiphar. He was still blessed and he was brought to the land light. There is no way to be eaten among other servants. So I want to also encourage us here. You have this in you, have talent in you as a pastor's wife or whosoever has a deaconess or, you know, in the ministry or, yeah, as an elder in the ministry, you know, please be free to execute your gifts. Don't just hide it inside and say, hey, our church, let they do this and this. Go and meet your pastor. Because the more you hide it, the more those gifts, they die in us. May yours not die in Jesus' name. And so mm -hmm. they buy our gifts. When it's being utilized, God increases it. God increases it. For one thing you have to know also is that well, one person cannot do all the job. Don't leave all, all, only your husband at the mm -hmm. forefront. As they go, you should go, they drag yourself on one. Very, very important. It's time for prayer. You must be dear. Whether sleep catch you or not, by the time prayer enter you, the sleep will come up for your heart. As a woman of God, as a pastor's wife, very, very important. As a deaconess in the church. You know, I love people that help doing. Not that when they say, they can say, can't lead this one. First, they shock mark because the time you're supposed to learn, you were not available. You know, it hurt for me not to be. You are a pastor's wife. There are others in the ministry. Also, God will bring a lot to support your husband in the ministry, to make the ministry, to make it easier because no man can do the work alone. But also, you must be part of it also. Because I lead the work for the men that they do. And for who? For who? If you are not with there you, you with your husband, who then God come, who you can't leave the work for me, they do. So as your husband stands, it is not by mistake you are called mama. As your husband stands, he's supposed to stand with her. What is it the meaning of mama? Mama means that when they are children under you, whether they are, they are dickiness so, whether they are elders so, whether they are just uh, choir members so, or member in the prayer band so, they are under you. Mama means what? Thank God we are even like, like and please permit me to use this. Play. I know some of us are other from other European con uh, country, like our, our sisters, they are from uh, Germany. Another one is also uh, from Spain. Uh, but then in Italy here, we call mothers, mama. So though it's rampant all over the world now, you know, ministers have come mama. So what I'm trying to say is that it, when we say mama in Italy, we miss mother. We miss mother. So when they start calling you that name, it means that well, there are works that are in your hands that must be done. In our ministry, let our actions speak louder than voice. 
Let's not just enjoy the name alone. Mama, mama, mama. There must be proof to show, to show that what that, that name you carry, mama. You know, you are up to the task. You start little and you begin to graduate, you know, from one level to the other. And I see God increasing us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God increasing us in the name of Jesus. Amen. So there's nobody that can support your husband as you can. As you can. This is very, very important. So all that are not yet pastors, well, wherever you are in the ministry, that ministry not celebrating, God is taking you somewhere. I will run up with this because of time. When I, when I started, when God called me into ministry, I was just a young sister. I was not yet married, but I was up and doing that in my church here in Nigeria years ago. I think that was in far back about uh, 25 years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I was ordained a pastor 1998. I was when I was ordained a pastor, 1998. I was just a young sister, but I was up and doing, I was not married yet. But all I you know, to call the long story short, was that at the end of the day, I got married to a pastor and God helped me to where I am now. How? Because I, 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 I worked at it, not because I wanted to be a pastor, so I, uh, because I wanted to be a mama. But the little they committed into my hands that time, I was faithful. I was faithful. I was not the only one, there were others also. But you asked me today, there are some that are falling by the wayside. And funny enough, many are falling. I'm not saying to mock cats anybody. What am I trying to say is that what? The, 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 the way you take the work of God serious. See, our God is a God that does not promote any help. You know, with you, man, we can manipulate our ways. No, our God is when you are faithful, he elevates. When you are not faithful, uh, one way or the other, the person remember where he or she is. So the little God committed the way I was faithful over it. That is what brought me to where I am now, to the glory of God. So the same thing I commit unto you, you can. Mm -hmm. I want to bring, you know, you enforce it to you, you can. You can do it. You have what it takes. God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we're going to be praying because of time, you know. Uh, just as I said, I don't want to uh, elaborate too much. So number one prayer, when we're going to be praying this simply, please. We all, you are going to be giving us prayer points. I know our sisters on the platform that are new. Please just you can just give us one or uh, you know one prayer point as God leads you. Amen. Amen. So, if you look at the story we read concerning the life of Joseph, the Bible says, if you see verse two, it says, the Lord was with Joseph and he was a prosperous man. Mm -hmm. That goes to tell us when God is with us, there is no way prosperity will not follow. What does the Bible prosperity have to do with our heads? That will do with what you know, enlargement in ministry. Where, where you know the goodness of that ministry, your own family, everything good when God is with you, it goes along with it. So, we want to pray tonight and you say, God, make my life prosperous and make the ministry prosperous. Make my life prosperous and make the ministry prosperous. Please let's open our mouth and pray. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. The Bible says that when the master of Joseph saw that all that he does was prosper, he committed money, so he says. That goes to tell us what we are taking with you. God, we do better to commit God more into our one to pray. Lord, grace to be faithful wherever I am. Grace to be faithful. When I need faithfulness, church service starts at uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. As pastor's wife or as a deaconess, you are entering the church 10. 10, 9, 30, 11, that is not faithfulness. You just have to fight it out any way you can. You no know, issues like that. As pastor's wife, you are not paying tight. Uh, hey, as a pastor, a uh, deaconess in the church, you are not fitting your tightening. If you are not working, it's a different ball game. You are working, not tightening. That is not faithfulness. Issue and honor are not like that. So we want to pray. Lord, grace to be faithful wherever I am now in the ministry. Open your mouth and begin to pray, please. Father, grace to my faith. Grace to my faith. Grace to my faith. Grace to my faith. Father, Lord, grace to my faith. In the name of Jesus. Grace to my faith. Wherever I am now. Wherever I am now. Oh, God, you have blessed me, Lord, not in the ministry. Father, Lord, grace to my faith. Grace to my faith. Oh, Father, Lord, grace to my faith. Grace to be committed. Looking at the story of Joseph, we read, we read there were other summers that Potiphar's had. How come it was Joseph that was, you know, uh, that, that was better, that was brought, to, brought forth because and was acknowledged by Potiphar? Because he was committed. He was committed. So some of us, we are not committed to what we have been called to do. Then how do we not expect God to commit more into our hands? People in the ministry, you have to give them a call. Somebody has a mother, you don't see a sister in the church, brother in the church. That makes you, that will you yes, there are other people that give them call. You know, to some of our ministry, there are people that we have been assigned to call people. But also as a mother, that should not stop you from calling them. Whether that person is a special person on your side or not. So we're going to pray tonight. I say, God, the grace will be committed. So that we should have given yeah. put in my hands. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, grace to be committed. Grace to be committed. I cannot not to committed. Do not take it to my heart to eat that. All my heart to eat. All my heart. All my heart. To the mission. To the mission. To the mission. To the mission. Because that's how we still have look on them. So they don't know I am not. What I am called. I call that priest in the name of Jesus. Father, Father, Lord, you say, have to be given to the mission. Have to be given to the mission. Jesus. Amen. that gives a minister's job is when the ministry increases. You know, maybe in terms of souls. Let, us, um, let me use that example. It sends us souls in, where they are multiplying numerically. It gives the minister the, the, the head of the ministry job. But mm -hmm. this is happen whereby, you know, when the, the, the one we have that we are treating them well. See, I tell you the truth. You don't have power to influence this member as much as they have power to influence themselves. Now they're going to bring themselves. Come. Come to our church in the apple here. There are things they know, you don't even know, as pastor's wife or as the head of the church. So I want the praise when you influence them well. That is when they can call and go and invite their people come with their friends and their neighbors and their family. So I want to pray. God, the grace to relate with, there's a wisdom to relate with this, the, the, the people you have brought under me. The wisdom, the way, they know, the way you need to handle Mr. A, that is not how you need to handle Mr. B. So we need wisdom. 
So let, then let's ask God, God for wisdom. Wisdom to relate with these people. Oh, we will man that pray. Father, Lord, God, the wisdom, wisdom, the wisdom. I have to form my life. I have to form my life. So relate with God. Let me not go with those who have broken that with God. They find wisdom. They find wisdom. They find wisdom. I have to say, is there any man that lacks wisdom? Let him have the gospel. Why you give to all the men, not to all men, not to all men, not to all men, not to all men. I ask for that wisdom. So not to relate with God with that day. So not to not to all the men. Let us the prayer would like to lead this evening is that God, I refuse to be stopped. Mm -hmm. I refuse to be stopped in the ministry. When I mean stop, though some, well, so some people, though some of us, we have been stopped. Or maybe because of offense. Or because, you know, one reason or the other. Anytime I want to do something, as sister B go call talk, or the, the dickiness go call do and So because of that, I leave the work for their hand. Then that you have been stopped. We want to pray. Joseph found himself in the prison and he refused to give in. See, he see the mess as a leader. He was still active in the prison. We want to pray. Lord, I refuse to be stopped. As a minister that's a call by you, open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I refuse to be stopped. I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. The minister that God you have called, you have called that call by you. I am unstoppable, Lord. I am unstoppable, Lord. I am unstoppable, Lord. I am unstoppable, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, rather not that I ask for this. So from Lord, God is the Lord. He has to go from one level or the other to the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I refuse to be stopped. I am unstoppable. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Please, we ask my pastor IT, my please give us prayer point. This each of us are just going to be giving one one prayer point because of time. When there is time, we'll come back again and take one one at, at, uh, around the game. Please, Pastor IT, my prayer, prayer point. We can't hear you, ma'am. Mute your mic. The mic is muted. Okay. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are going to ask God tonight to plant, to plant relevant people, viewed as lover of God and lover of humanity. Mm. That God should plant them in our ministry. Amen. Amen. Five of them in ministry. Ministry become mm. easier. Mm -hmm. yes, we are going to ask mm -hmm. God, plant relevant people, good women, good men, people that have the love for God and love us mm -hmm. for humanity. Father, plant them in our church. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, the <laughs> Amen. Please, Pastor Diamond, your prayer point. I would like us to pray and ask for God to demonstrate His glory over our lives. Because when the glory of God is demonstrated in the life of a man, that man is announced to the world. So As tonight, we want, I want us to pray, Father, demonstrate your glory in my life and announce me to my world. Amen. Demonstrate your glory in my life 
and announce me to my world in the name of Jesus. we are going to pray the bible says in the book of genesis chapter 37 still talking about joseph verse 20 of it the brothers was the brothers that said let us see let us see our, what what is going to come out of his dream so we are going to pray every household enemy that want to take our joy away that want to take our dream away Holy Ghost fire consumed that tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray. Every household enemy, every power from my father's house, every power from my mother's house, every power from my husband's house, every power around me, that is targeting what God has deposited in the way. Holy Ghost fire consumed them in the name of Jesus. Every power, every familiar spirit, every every my father's house that is getting my joy to take my joy away, to take my dream away. Take it, take it, take it. I take authority over them in the name of Jesus. I take authority, I take authority, I take authority, I take authority. I take authority. Holy Ghost fire consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. Every house from my house has Every power from my father's side that is getting my joy, that want to steal my dream away, that want to steal my dream of my children away, that want to steal the dream of my family away. I say you are a liar. Holy fire consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. Destroy, they destroy, they destroy, they destroy, they destroy. In the mighty name of Jesus. So, I didn't pray. Amen. Jesus name. In the name of Jesus. This is Amen. our prayer point, man. Praise Master Jesus. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my prayer point is taken from Isaiah 32, verse 15. The Bible said, Until the Spirit of God is be poor on us from on high, the wilderness become a fruitful field, and the fruitful field is counted as a forest. But not until the Spirit of God is poor, there is no fruitfulness, there is no manifestation. So we are going to be praying upon our churches. We are all here, we have various churches that, oh God, pour your spirit of fruitfulness, your spirit of multiplication upon our church. It is the spirit of God that makes the difference. You lift up your voice tonight as we begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus for your spirit of fruitfulness, 
mighty name of Jesus, for the name of your spirit of God, for the name of the mighty name of Jesus, for the name of the spirit of God, for the name of Jesus, for the name of God, in the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, I pray that God will be mighty of God, for the name of God, and the wilderness become a fruit, if it is a national ministry, in the name of Jesus, my name is Ruka Rapa, for the name of the Lord, 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 for the name of
this ma advice Oza Oza from Jenima. Please give us your prayer request, ma. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we are going to pray for God's strength. We are going to pray that the Lord will help us. Because Amen. if you read the book of First Samuel chapter 2, verse 9, if you read the B of it, he said, For by no strength shall no man prevail. With our power, with our strength, we can do nothing. Instead, mm -hmm. the Lord help us. We are going to pray now. Say, Father, help us, O Lord, lead us in this work that you are placed in our hand that we will not fail in that Amen. 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 my great women of God, thank you all very much. We have some minutes to go. So please, uh, with the minutes we have remaining, any prayer points? Anything you have, anything we should pray over? Please, can we attend to it? Or any testimony or thanksgiving? While we are thinking over that, while you are meditating over that, one or two prayer points you want to give, please uh, I welcome you all once again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, though we are about living, now nah, nah, they welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so please uh, write in our midst, uh, uh, our beloved sisters, minister, also ministers in the gospel, to the glory of God. 
Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to be welcoming them this evening. All uh, right, with us here this evening on the platform is Pastor Mrs. Faith Ima Swen, all the way from Spain. Please let's jump down our hands together as we welcome her. Amen. Welcome, God bless you. Welcome, Pastor Faith Ima Swen from Spain. God bless you, man. Amen. You are welcome. Amen. Amen. Thank you, man. Amen. Also, we will make welcome uh, Evangelist Oza all the way from Germany. This man, you are welcome. God bless you. Please let your hands together as to welcome her. Yes. God bless you. Amen. Amen. The yes. others are still coming. And so, um, there's a um, minister supposed to be around this day. I don't know why she's not around. So I will turn to her from Nigeria. I think we have already welcomed her on the platform. Uh, Pastor Mrs. Uh, Eunice Amadi, we are trusting God next week she will be with us. God Amen. will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh -huh. So please, we have a few minutes. Any other thing you think we need to attend to before we leave? In the absence of knowledge, let's open our mouth. Let's begin to thank God. Let's thank God for today's gathering. Sorry. Let's give him praise. It's by his grace, it's by his strength that we are successful. Father, we thank you. We give up for you. Thank you for the successfulness of today's gathering. Thank you, Lord, for the colorfulness of the successful. Thank you, Lord, for the glory of the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the glory of the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the glory of the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the glory of the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the glory of the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the glory of the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the glory of the Lord. Bless your wonderful name, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Give you all of praise, O my God. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Bring the Lord and be exalted, O Lord. In our midst, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Give you all your name. In the name of Jesus. Give you all praise, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Before we go, we have a few minutes to go. I would just like us to pray this prayer. Number one, let's lift up our husbands before God. Amen. These are very significant men in our life. Or rather, let me say one and not significant man in our life, your husband and my husband. We are where we are, that we are what we have because they stood by us. You are on this platform because they allowed you. If not, you will not do anything. We want to pray that the grace of God will be multiplied upon their life. They will not fail. What mm -hmm. cause other ministers to fail, they will not fail. Bless mm -hmm. open our mouth and pray. we want to see pray. We want to pray for our children. These are children that God has given to us. These are special children. We want to pray. I want to call them by name. Quickly, one or two minutes, lift up those children into God says, see? Lift up my that Jesus man. children most of the time, God forbid. They are the one that misbehave more. And our own will not be like that. Call them by their name. And then they shall be yes and then. They shall be yes and in society, in the ministry. Let's open our mouth and pray. Father, God, God, I tell you. I tell God, I tell you, my children. I tell my daughter with the blood of Jesus. So my God, I tell you, my daughter, you will not speak. And you will not preach it to the other people. Jesus, Amen. 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 Amen
in one or two words, let's pray for this year. Let's bring them before God. We want to pray this time around for their life partner. It's very, very important. It's not too, it's not too early to start prophesying upon them concerning their life partner, their spouse, mm -hmm. later in life. If your child murdered your enemy, that's the worst thing that can ever happen to you. God, mm -hmm. that will not be our portion in Jesus' name. Yeah. God, them, she may call them by name. So you marry the right man. Call them by name. You marry the right woman. Marry yet, my friend, and your father's friend. Not an enemy. Open your mouth and pray. My Lord, God, just swallow the right man. God, God, the right woman, the right woman, the right woman. The right woman. The right woman. The right woman. You will not marry my enemy. In the name of Jesus, and your father will not be enemy of the world. No, no. and I pray at the very last two days, you all just will be married to the right our Father, we give you praise tonight. We give you all the glory, we lift up your name on that bless up your holy name. Thank you, Lord God, for us you have brought us to the seven. Lord, we thank you for all, Father Jehovah, for directions concerning prayers. We Amen. thank you for all tracks. We thank Amen. you, Lord God, for answers. Our words is to pray, and yours, God, is to grant us results. Lord Amen. God, that was why the Bible said, by strength and no man prefer. We have no strength of our own, as we have run back to you concerning issues of the ministry, our homes, and our lives. Father, we believe it is settled in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for this platform. Continue to uphold it, God. We will not scatter. Lord Amen. God, nothing. Amen. Thank you for next Thursday as we come, Lord God, we come and quit, Lord God, by your strength in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you for Sunday service, for your great move in each of our Amen. services in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's share the grace quickly. May the grace, the of, grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ. the love of God, and the spirit of God, and the Holy Spirit, and with us, now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and blessings are full of the Lord, all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord, forever and ever. Amen. God bless you all. Wonderful God. God bless you all. Thank you for making yourself available. The Lord will enlarge your course and the Lord will reward you. Amen. So to see again next Thursday, remember bubbling in the Lord. The people fire are burning. Bye. 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 Bye.